Now that Scott and Mark are done with the fabrication on the 56 Ford, I'm going to get started on the custom interior. So we already have some renderings that gives me an idea of kind of the direction that we're going. I'm going to start with the front seats, which are snowed in seat bases. And then I use PVC plastic to create a hard back. Then I'm gonna use a pre-made foam seat cover that comes with the Snowden seat and then make some modifications that I like to um, smooth some stuff out, add some foam, just to kind of fit the design that we're going for a little bit more. Now I'm going to pattern the seat cover so that they have that custom tight fit. Before I cut a piece out, I kind of want to take a look at the hide and make sure that I stay away from all the imperfections. So I circle them with chalk. Then I just lay my piece away from the imperfections and cut them out. So once all the patterns are cut out, I will add a piece of scrim foam, usually eighth inch, quarter inch, or half inch, depending on where the piece lays or what kind of look I'm going for. Um, and then sew, them, sew the leather down onto the foam and then sew it all together. I'm gonna use the steamer to kind of relax the leather, make it stretch a little bit more, get all the wrinkles out. So I'm gonna put a leather grip on the center console. I'm gonna start with patterning. I'll go ahead and cut the pieces out of leather, sew them together, put a top stitch on there. So I need to hammer down the seam before I French seam so that it lays as flat as possible. I think there's no extra leather there at all. Then once it's all sewn together and my pattern is perfect, I can hand stitch the bottom of it together.
can use an MDF to make a custom seat sub box that's gonna basically be the seat mount for the rear seat. So the, the subs are gonna be under the rear seat and then all the sound is gonna come out that hole that is cut out in the front. For the door panels, I used ABS, PVC, and acrylic to get the different, different shapes. We used the plastic because it's more durable than the original cardboard would have been. It's also easier to shape. You can get a lot more detailed door panels and shapes out of the plastic versus a cardboard or fiber board. So for the armrests, um, I decided to fiberglass them. They're a big piece that I wanted a little bit more contour, and this was the easiest way to create that. Once all the pieces are fabbed, I like to test fit it, make sure everything fits right, doors close, lines are perfect, door panels line up from front to rear, just kind of give it a dry run. We made some zebra wood insert panels for the top of the door panel. Give it a nice touch that will match the bed and kind of bring everything together. But that looks way better. Yeah. That's kind of cool because it's got like, I don't know, I think it ties That's it together. That's what I envisioned. Much yeah. better. That looks yeah. pretty better. modern too. Yeah. What do you think? Do that on the bed too, or no? Yeah. yeah, I think do it on everything. I got yeah. a gallon of that stain too, so we'll do it on everything. Yeah, that'd be cool. All right, All right so we're gonna go here. What are we doing, black? Blue. That looks really good with that. I love it. I like it. That looks, that looks really good. Okay, there we go. Man, that was easy. Positive vibe. Good job, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you wanna see more build videos like this, help us out by liking, commenting and subscribing to our channel. And it's a little thing to do, but don't forget to turn on those notifications. If you wanna buy merch, go to store.classiccarstudio.com. See you next time.